Welcome! In this video, we'll show you how to sign up and how to use the Parent Portal for PowerSchool on the web. Before you begin, be sure to share your personal email address with the school office. Ask the school office for the access ID and password for you to create your PowerSchool Parent Portal. And as a reminder, before you begin, you'll need that personal email address and that access ID and password to create your parent PowerSchool account. And you can get the access ID and password from your school office. Your PowerSchool parent portal, you'll be able to check in all your students' grades, their attendance, class registration for their school site, access to the state testing scores for your students, the student's lunch pin, and access to School Messenger. In this video, we're going to start out looking at how to sign up and use PowerSchool for Parents on the web. And then you're going to want to take a look at our other video for how to use the Parent PowerSchool on your mobile device. So everything you see that we do here on the web in this video, you'll be able to do on your mobile phone as well. Let's get started for how to sign up on the web. You'll first want to start out by going to this website address, https colon forward slash forward slash ps dot mcs for kids dot com forward slash public. Once you're at the website that you put in the internet web browser, then you're going to click on the Create Account tab that you'll see right here. So we'll click on that tab and you'll click the Create Account button. Now you'll put in your first name, last name, and your personal email address. You'll create your own desired username. Remember to write down the username and the password that you create because you'll need to remember this for when you sign in. You'll be asked to create a password and retype the password that you created. Again, remember, write down your username and the password you create here uh, so you can log in and use it on the web and on the mobile device. Then you're going to be linking all of your students to this account. So right below where you re-enter your password, you're going to see the for the first student, you're going to be able to put in that student's name. You'll need their access ID and the access password. These are just temporary, just to use for this one-time sign up. Again, you can get the access ID and access password from your school office, and they can provide that for you. Again, you'll just need the ID and password for this one time to sign them up. So you put in that student's access ID, access password, and pick your relationship to that student. You can sign up multiple students all at once. So there's, uh, you don't have to sign up one student at a time. If you have several students you know, in K-12, you can sign them up. When you're all done, at the bottom, press the Enter key. Now you're going to be logging in. Again, you've created your account, so now you can use that username and password that you created. So just go ahead and type that in, and you'll be able to log in, and I'll give you a tour of what this looks like. On the left-hand side, you're going to see where you can also get the PowerSchool Parent Portal on your mobile device. So it's available for the Apple iPhone and Android, and you go to those app stores, you'll need that district code your first time you sign in the mobile app. So there's the district code located right there. Now let me give you a tour of the left-hand side menu. At the very top left corner is grades and attendance. This is where you'll view the grades and attendance for your student. The legend at the bottom of the page displays the attendance codes and their meanings, so you can know what the legends mean. And this is a great way that you have different tabs that you can click on for that grades and attendance. Grade history is going to show you the quarter and semester grades for the student for the current grading term. Clicking on the grade score in the percent column will open up the class score detail page. A caret symbol indicates a score is exempt from the final grade, where an asterisk symbol indicates an assignment is not included in the final grade. The attendance history view 
lets you see the attendance records for your student in the current term. The legend at the bottom of the page displays the attendance codes and their meanings. Email notification right here on the left hand side. If you wish to receive information about your students' grades, attendance, and assignment scores, you can use this page to set up your email preferences. You can choose which information you would like to receive, how often you would like to receive it, and where you would want that information to be sent to what email address. Teacher comments on the left side. Use this page to view any comments that your teachers entered regarding items such as students' achievement or behavior. Now looking at the school bulletin. On this page, view the daily weekly school bulletin for your student. Please be patient as many sites are not yet utilizing this feature. Class registration. Click to view the course request for the following school year. This will only be open during specific balloting dates. You can also look at the course catalog by clicking this button and searching for different courses that the school site offers. My schedule on the left hand side, you'll be able to see your student's schedule for a weekly view, but you can also click the matrix view for the current grading term. And over to school information on the left side, this is the school information for address and phone number for the school site for your student. Then click on score reports on the left hand side. This is where you can see score reports and assessments from the different student tests that they have taken for the school site or the state. You can click on it with the drop down arrow, pick the year, click get report button and you'll be able to click the view link for that specific report that you just pulled up and you'll be able to see how your student did on that state testing or that assessment for the school site. Also on the left hand side you have lunch personal identification number or your lunch pin number for the student is located right here and on the left hand side is account preferences. When you come here, you can use this to update your information for your email address, even select your preferred language and update your password. Just click the save button when you're done editing. On any page that you're in, on the top right hand corner, you can click on help. And when you click help, it will give you a tutorial of the page that you're on. Also, you won't see it at first, but on the left hand side underneath account preferences, once you sign up for your school messenger parent account, then when you log into PowerSchool Parent Portal, you'll have school messenger right here on the left hand side. And with this, you'll be able to access school messenger on the web right within PowerSchool. So you just have to log into PowerSchool Parent Portal and you'll get access to school messenger. And again, just a reminder that the school messenger will only appear here once you set up your account uh, with uh, school messenger on the web. And we do have a video how to do that. Let's take a look what school messenger through PowerSchool dashboard here will look like. Once you clicked on school messenger, then it's just going to load up the school messenger. You're already logged in on the top left corner. You'll be able to click on your messages and get to everything that school messenger has to offer. Back in PowerSchool, just click sign out in the top right hand corner. And if you ever want to sign back in, just head back to the website and you'll be able to use your username and password that you created for your PowerSchool parent portal.